This high-resolution mapping is part of the Australian government's assistance to PNG in preparation for the 2018 APAC Leaders Summit. It is not clear how far back such mappings were conducted, but this one will give a very clear outline of the layout of the National Capital District. Operating out of the air transport wing at the Jacksons International Airport, this specifically fitted aircraft will be flying around Port Mosby to conduct this mapping exercise. Squadron leader Michael Bannerman, who is heading this operation, said this exercise will provide the PNG government with new and high-quality maps to support APAC preparations. The Royal Australian Air Force has brought its uh, 38 Squadron King Air 350 to Papua New Guinea to support APEC 18. Uh, this aircraft is configured to conduct mapping and survey work and will be supporting the PNG government by providing them with some new and high quality maps that they can use uh, to support the uh, operation. Over the course of the next week, the Australian Air Force will conduct five days of flights within the Port Mosby area. PNGDF and Mapping Bureau officials will be on board to learn how high resolution mapping is done. We're currently here for one week. Uh, we'll be providing flying operations over five days. Uh, to conduct a lot of mapping around the Port Moresby area specifically. Uh, we're going to be taking members from the PNG Defence Force and the Papua New Guinean government uh, from their National Mapping Bureau up in the aircraft to show them exactly how the system works and the sort of photos and mapping data that we're taking. This is part of a collaborative effort between the PNG and Australian governments in ensuring APAC is delivered in the safest possible manner. Other major centres will also be mapped in the near future using this technology. Jehab Akia, NBC National News, Port Mosby.